That's the uh, tire carrier right there. This one's not quite finished. We gotta throw the tire on there, figure out where the farthest point is, and then we can throw the uh, locking pin on there. sick huh and then you've got a full stop here as well as a, a, a further stop here just as kind of a safety measure sick same over here lock it 90 and then 180 or roughly 180 it's a diamond plate a little top portion that we'll put in right here Bounce all these outside holes right here, and then it's got a cutout for the uh, little catch bracket right here. Looks like it fits great. All we need to do now is just grab some bolts so we can bolt it down and make sure there's no extra trimming we need to do, especially around this. And that should be that. That should be the last little thing. Right now is putting the bumper on so we could double check all the clearances like these handles right here especially this one I have a possibility of getting in the way of the tire carrier just want to double check other things like the lights make sure not we're not covering the lights too much uh, making sure everything closes fine and is relatively parallel to the back of the truck doesn't hit the back of the truck so then basically there's some sort of bump stop that goes right here essentially yeah so that's what this tab was for this tab will be for a, a little rubber bump stop that gets bolted to it uh, just as an extra backup because you do have the pin still that as it's opening will self-lock into the little thing to stop it from hitting the truck and it locks right as it hits the bump stop just so there's two things stopping it because it's an aluminum body you really don't want to let go of a carrier with yeah, a no, you don't nice want that chest thing flying out. Yeah. We actually machine these uh, hinges out in-house in the CNC mill. Uh, dual bearings, you got an upper and lower bearing on here. Um, super smooth action. It's, it's rad, they just don't fail. It's nice and tight now. Uh, I don't know if we've shown this yet, but we have this awesome little pin right here. It's a spring-loaded pin. You pull it up just like that to open it. It even has a locked up setting right there if you want. But the root, probably my favorite part about this whole thing is without even touching the pin, slide it around and just like that it stops itself you just lose your grip and or it slips it'll catch itself before it runs into the body we have three locking points we have one at 90 and then you have another one right here as you just saw like this gets it all the way open with as much room as possible that way when he has the awning open you can still work underneath the awning be in the shade especially when you're out in the hot desert and then the last little hole is all the way around right here handle on this end, brings it in, it's not going anywhere. There you go, that's the uh, tire carrier right there. This one's not quite finished, so we gotta add the other two little locking points in here because we wanna make sure when you swing this all the way open, that the tire doesn't contact the body. We gotta throw the tire on there, figure out where the farthest point is, and then we can throw the uh, locking pin on there. But yeah, that's a crazy ass bunker setup. Oh yeah, it's got just about everything. We're gonna be throwing in some, uh, some extra tail lights down here inside the steps. It's got the nice Yeti bottle opener. It's getting some more lights. We'll have a camera down on the bottom, license plate.
bumper's been a lot of work, but seeing it like this is a good feeling, knowing that it's almost done. And swing this open. We'll leave about a quarter inch gap over here just in case there's any play when it uh, swings open. You always want to leave a little extra room for the things that can go wrong because anything that can go wrong will go wrong. We don't want to learn that one the hard way. Three days later. What's up, guys? Good morning. What's up? Sid, just morning? Good morning, sir. Oh, morning. I've been here for three damn hours. <laughs> three hours? How <laughs> you make it three hours? Yeah, it's an hour. I cannot count either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are we doing on those truck? This thing's pretty cool. We're getting ready to uh, install the rear bumper, badass bumper that we made over there. Yeah. So what do you think about this bumper? It's pretty intense. I mean, it's definitely different than anything else we've ever done. Yeah, these guys are pretty good. Once again, he's boring and dull. He had it going for a second there. <laughs> what are you doing, Flo? I'm getting ready to install the winch into yeah. that bumper. This thing? Yes, this thing. But that's not like a chain winch though. No, no, this is an upgraded one. If it was a wire cable, just in case you were out there pulling something and it breaks, it could potentially have uh, recoil. So if it were to mm. snap, it would just shoot back. Shoot yeah, back, I see, cut you. I think I've seen something happen like that on one, one of time. those YouTube videos. That there's one that hooks a guy and Ooh. tears off his jaw. Yeah, I don't think we want to see that one. So if this yeah. were to break, it's just gonna break and fall in and place. That's it. And that's yeah. it. No, no harm to you or to your vehicle or anybody around you. There's a personal space around here, and Jason has no concept of personal space. I don't even know what that and, word. And means. it'd be okay if it was Sanderson, but it's Jason. Oh, I know you kind of. Back and up, it, right? and he's like, <laughs> I'm like, get out of my bubble. Get out of my bubble. This thing looks so sick. Ryan, pretty badass. Huh? I'd say the diamond plate looks really, really good on here now. Powder coated. Diamond plate accent here to here. I mean, it just makes sense. You got a little texture here and here. Wait, do you two guys even know what you're doing over here? Yeah, dude. We're you looking sure? for beer to open up <laughs> yeah. using our new Yeti powder coated <laughs> beer <laughs> bottle opener. What? What was that? Mumbo? Mumbo? I, don't know. I don't know. It's Friday. It was a long week. Long week. <laughs> Every time Ryan comes in, he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna touch this, touch that," and then everybody's like, "Damn it, Ryan! Why'd you touch all this?" You just everything up, we need to put it back. I bleep it out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go. Cool. <laughs> you put this thing on? Yeah. How much do you think this thing weighs? 245? What do you think? No. no. 700 pounds? 700 pounds. I say 700 pounds. Yeah, that's say, heavy. It's not 700 pounds, dude. What do you have? I'm gonna go with four. Cheeto? 399. 399. Dude, Let's check I it. must be way off. All right, let's see what it weighs in at. Four. Pretty close to. Hey, get off! <laughs> the, get off the scale, you two. <laughs> 357. All right, Cheeto, you won, dude. Now yeah. you gotta put it on the truck because I, you won. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got the bumper installed on Mel's truck. Now I've got the jerry can carrier and the tire carrier that are being installed right now. Uh, Cheeto and Dazzle are, are just setting them up right now. Actually, hold on just one second. Uh, let's show the guys what we have here. So. In here we have races built into this little, uh, into the carrier. And then the bearings that go in place. And then uh, obviously you need a rag for that. Um, full seal that goes in on the bottom side. And then you got races and bearings on the top side as well. So we got Mel's bumper, it's installed. We've got the carriers going on. We've got the tire carrier over on this side. Traditionally it's over on this side. So we don't wanna have it open up into traffic. So we do it over here. However, in this situation, we put the carrier, the tire carrier over here, and we've got the jerry can carrier or universal rack over here that swings out over here, locks in place at about a 90 degree angle off to the side here, and then the tent comes out giving him access to like a little barbecue on there. But uh, one of the most unique things on this is the step. The integrated step in here gives you a nice access to, to step up into the truck. So it gives you that ability to get up there 
Um, we also have the diamond plate on here, diamond plate integrated into the step as well. Um, other cool thing that we did on Mel's truck was this little side piece. It gives a lot of support, a lot of protection on the side. Uh, heavy off-road situations. I've got big boulders caught up underneath the bumper here. What happens is as you're traversing up over a, a big boulder, sometimes you'll dislodge that boulder and it'll kind of rotate up and get stuck up in this area. So with this here, it gives you a lot of protection on the body panel. And then of course we have the uh, integrated shackles off the side. We have the tow shackles back here. 16,500 pound worn electric winch here. We've got his uh, backup camera integrated in here, as well as a little protective cover plate for it. Rigid reverse lights. Uh, he went with the smoke finish on here, but those are his reverse lights. We also have rigid lights in here that are red and uh, tied into his brake lights. And then of course, uh, we've got a Yeti bottle opener right here. All right, so this is a universal carrier that we designed for Mel. And the idea is he can put a Yeti mounted on here. It's a perfect size for, I think it was like a 20 quart Yeti, something like that. We got it somewhere, oh, it's over here. 35 quart Yeti. Uh, but you can also put literally a barbecue on here. You could put jerry cans on here. It has this backstop here and then kind of a molly mount design where you could integrate any type of stopping place in there literally like whatever else you want to do to kind of uh, customize that. Super easy to do that. And again, this is our dual bearing design. We have bearings on the top as well as the bottom on this guy. So it's super smooth. Um, you have the uh, Zerk fitting right here. You can grease this up and service it. All right, so we're just about to install Mel's spare tire. So check this out. Hold on just one second, Randy. Mm -hmm. So you can see this is how the CTIS line runs on the uh, hidden CTIS line. So cool thing about this guy, there's no CTIS line shown. This guy's gonna wrap around on the inside of here and there's a cap that goes on there. The advantage with that is you don't have an exposed CTIS line going across here that you could potentially rip off in an off-roading situation. The uh, downside to it is it's an H1 Hummer. It looks really frigging cool with the exposed CTIS line because no other off-road truck or very few other off-road trucks have that. But uh, we're installing that. It comes in through here, the CTS line, and then it uh, mounts onto the carrier. So if you check this guy out here, we're gonna have another spindle mount that comes out of here. And so he has a complete extra spare tire as well as CTIS line setup. So let's say he does have a CTIS line leak. He's got a whole setup right here, just pops it off, throws it on, and he's good to go. So let's go ahead and get this thing on, Randy. All right, so Cheeto's throwing on the uh, quick disconnect coupler. And this normally goes into the center of the hub, but obviously we don't have a hub here, but uh, we do have the adapter in place. So you can just snap this guy on here and you've got a complete setup here, ready to go. So if you need any extra spares, pop this guy off. If you need that little uh, adapter, it's ready to go. So we were literally like seconds away to sending this thing to powder coat. Mel's like been a big part of the build process and we wanna have him come down one last time before it left for powder and he's like, hey, what else can we do? There's gotta be something else we can do. And I was like, no, you gotta, you gotta kill it, man. You, there's nothing more we can do to this thing. And he's like, well, what if we put a roto pack underneath here? And it's actually like just ingenious. Perfect mount for a roto pack underneath the carrier here. So what's cool about this is roto pack makes a first aid kit that opens up. It's the same size as his two gallon uh, fuel can but um, he can put his first aid kit on here and it's completely hidden. And then obviously the Yeti will go on in place right there, or he could take this thing off and do a barbecue, but um, yeah, it's just awesome setup. All right guys, so check this out. Really cool on Mel's truck, this feature of the integrated brake lights into the pocket. So it's kind of a dual purpose design. You have brake lights that are integrated into his brake lights, the trucks, the vehicles brake lights, but you also have this alternate red light here. So you're off-roading at nighttime, you wanna see that step, you can hit a switch, turn the lights on just inside this little pocket and uh, access the back of the truck. So super, super cool.
All right, folks, we're wrapping up Mel's bumper. We have just a couple more hours worth of work. Bearing caps have to go on, as well as some final wiring. The reverse lights need to be wired in, and then uh, we're gonna be taking it out on the road, so make sure you check back in. Next episode, we're gonna be taking this truck out on the road, and you can kind of see the full buildup of the truck and see it go down the road, which can be pretty cool. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and follow us. Thanks for watching.